Shout out my man Kelvin Smith. But um, I thought y'all might, you know, he inspired this. You know, he a more, and you know, he just inspired me to make this. But um, look how he got South America coming up into Florida, and then they say India, right? Like just you, you, you see El Peru. Okay. Then they say India when you come on up in there. They say Florida. I'm just saying that this, you know, I just was doing research, came across this map. Is this real or not? Okay. Like, it looked like America kind of with the, with the boot of Florida kind of facing the wrong way. Let's, 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 you know, <clears throat> do, like, what's going on here? What is, what is this? Right, you see left Florida in the, in the bottom right. Like, what is, what am I looking at here? Is America India? Right, are we on our Indigo shit? Indianapolis, Indiana, India. <clears throat> Indian, all you Native American rappers out there, Indian, is this it right here? I think I saw this on like House of Cons. I think it's a Moore's brother named House of Cons. I might have got this from uh, it's another Moore's brother something, bay. Um, it's a couple Moore's brothers. They be dropping, you know, maps. I can't think of this other dude. Fuck, but somebody got me to think, and I tell my man, I say the old Mac was wearing fezes. So let's get into that. The old Mac were the first great Mesoamerican culture, and thriving from C. 1200 BCE to 400 BCE, they predate the Maya. For all you Mexican, for all you Latin American. They predate the Maya and the Aztec. Don't get it fucked up. Don't get it twisted. The same way y'all try to twist up that hip hop shit coming from the Puerto Rican. Nah, don't get it twisted. <clears throat> you you caught the train when it left the station. You wasn't at the you wasn't don't so the Omex was here first. The Om Om, you hear that margin that the Om the Omex, okay? D. Calico pointed out they was wearing the fez. Okay? Now you got the tribe of Ishmael, right? Or you got to follow me. They was calling themselves Indians, and they was here before the Cro-Magnums showed up, before the Cro-Magnums got here. They was calling themselves Indians, right? Indianapolis, right? But this is, this is, this is Islamic, right? This is Indian, but this is Islamic. Because you got Mohammed, Texas. This is where Baphomet, you see Mohammed, Baphomet. This is the same word. We went over this. Everybody, you know, we went over this. So Mohammed is in Texas. Okay. Tribe of Ishmael. Indiana. This is why in Indian, Indiana, India. I'm just talking etymology with you. But you see what color they are. This is your tribe of Ishmael. They Muslim. Okay. Now, you got the pure-blooded Washita more holy science temple of the world. Okay, full-blooded Cherokee. But this is coming from the Moors. So they got the Native American dudes beefing with the Moors, slinging insults, you know. Shout out to D. Calico, 
okay, down in Florida, in that Florida water, right? Be in in these arguments, they be in these shots. It be a lot of knowledge getting dropped at the same time. So, for people like myself, you know, coming across they discussions, you end up picking up little nuggets like this. So you 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 know, shit is all the same, right? <clears throat> Now, the Ben Ishmael tribe, we talking Moorish, we talking Muslim, okay? Ishmael, Israel, okay? You see that etymology there? Then you got your Ish from the Moorish, okay? Indianapolis, Indiana, you read the blue, read the blue. And remember, this was a tri-racial group. This was a tri-racial group. Okay. Ben Ishmaelites. In Indianapolis, origin story of Hagar and Ishmael, wandering tribe. Wandering tribe. The gypsies. Movement from East Sudan. Westward nomadic lifestyle. Have y'all been keeping up with the videos I'm dropping up? It's all connected. Okay. Ishmaelites in Kentucky, Indiana. Racial composition, importance of studying them. Right? They was a tri-racial. They was black, white, and I think Shit, what was it? Black, white, maybe Indian. No, it probably was, it was with African, European, and yeah, it must have been Indian. See, Arab, yeah. This is why Muhammad, like, do you, do you see what's going on here? The Ben Ishmael tribe. Right, they on their tribal shit. So Ishmael, Arabia, Northern Arab, but they was here. They were they Northern Arab, but they was here. I mean, you see what they look like. They they like they all different kind of people. Okay, the Central family, which gives its name to the tribe of Ishmael, first appears in Indianapolis. <clears throat> the original family. We have scanned back, 1790. Kentucky having from Maryland through Pennsylvania. Right? So that's why the the the, the Washington football team used oh, to be because they, they don't know what I am. I'm both. That's what they want. Heard the mobile say I was I I can say I was throw it. That's what they want, I was throw it. And I was that's what I got my mom. We were like twenty and thirty strangely mixed. I swear to God my mom. Yeah, what they say, I don't know. Could be true. Could be lie. That's what they want. Cause they don't know what I am. Named. And one of their exploration journeys might have led them to modern day Ohio. An article written by James L. Murphy for the Ohio Historical Society discusses H.K. Landis's description of a hollow brass hemisphere covered with Egyptian hieroglyph. The art The breath length. I previously stated that the Omecs were of Mali and that does make them Moors. Absolutely, the Omecs were indeed Malian Moors. The Mayans were the descendants of the Malian Moors and were often referred to as Black Mexicans or Quetzalcoatl. There are ancient Mexican wall paintings that depict these Negroid kings as rulers and are unmistakably African. These Moors were the people who built the Great Pyramids all over South America, Peru, Canada, Alaska, and Georgia, scattered all throughout North America along the Mississippi River and its tributaries are found mounds built out of tons of earth, tons and tons of earth. The people who built them were called the Mound Builders and they were the descendants of the Malian Moors, the Olmecs. These Moors eventually migrated to North America from Mexico and became known as the Washita, the Yamasee, and the Ben Ismael tribe. The Ben Ismael tribe 
was a collection of what is known as the Lenape, the Wapenong, and the Nantuchalk Indians who migrated to Indiana and Illinois and referred to themselves as Moors, even though the United States government continued to classify them as Negroes in order to strip them of their indigenous rights. I previously stated So now right, you got the Oxford Troglodyte Dictionary. It said N word hardy are a dark skinned person of any origin in early US are usually with reference to American Indians, usually offensive. Now look at the Native American, right? He 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 coming from the the the, the Indian, the nomad, the Muslim, okay? We, we 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 got to establish this the old max we're wearing a fez the fez is is islamic okay now you got mansa musa people like that now we want to get into the 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 to mary ancient egypt was called to mary by the indemptions to Marikans themselves to marry to marry who <clears throat> Tama who stay with me to your Mary Tamer I marry America American to America Amara Aymara Amaru I'll take it there That's why you can you can you can put the triple K. You can put the triple K in there too. A Mary Jeans, right? So this is my thing. Everything is banned too, right? Where you from, right? The first people on the map is pygmy, coming down. Next person is banned too, right? Neotic. This is probably where your neo grow. Negro. This is probably where that come from. Then they just all maximize into West Africa. Right? Them the first people on the face of the globe. According to medical, scientific, anthropological research. <clears throat> come on down. Somehow you get the San African. San Sub-Saharan Africa. Then coming out of that group, you get the Ethiopian. We ain't, I mean, you see what I'm saying? First people say Africa, not America. We talking first people on the planet. Keep this in mind when you talking your, what landmass you from. Then when you come out of that, look, the first people are Berber. This is the Caucasoid gene pool. Pause it and see everybody that came out the Berber Caucasoid gene pool. Right? Morocco is located just west of the intersection US 41 and Indiana 14. Okay, shout out D Calico. Shout out Kelvin Smith, right? They, they, you know, shout out to all the people <clears throat> having this debate, having this conversation. So it's a Morocco here, it's a Morocco there. It's a Egypt here, <clears throat> it's a Egypt there. It's a Memphis here, it's a Memphis there. Right, it's an India here, it's an India there. So when you're saying who was first, that's why I'm showing you who the first humans is. The first humans was coming out of Bantu, West Africa, pygmy shit, right? So, you know, if you're saying you indigenous here, you got matching shit over there. Now, for all the Indians, you know, Dr. Uma likes to say pretendians, all the Indians, why y'all never talk about the tribe of Ishmael? It's because they Islamic, it's because they triracial, right? You never talk about a group of people, right, found in Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Illinois, Missouri, and Iowa. These is all like Native American sounding names, right? See how I say wanderers, 
right? You can pause and read what it say. <clears throat> right? You can pause and read what it say. City of Indianapolis. Look at the complexion. Look at the complexion. <clears throat> These is Ishmaelites. Look at the complexion. <clears throat> Look how many wives are standing there. That's why I tell people, like, really get into your American history. The Ben Ishmael tribe <clears throat> is what the troglodytes say they found west of the Mississippi, right? But they, they, they don't really speak on this, you know, because this is where the eugenics came into play about, you know, <clears throat> erasing them, right? They They came up with... You see how I say founded by Jen and Jenny Ishmael, the Ben Ishmael trial, right? But <clears throat> this is what the government put out. So you, you, when you're doing this research, you gotta make sure they ain't spinning you. You can get crossed over. <clears throat> like like Allen Iverson crossing you over, you going one way, they really going another way with it. So you gotta be able to stick, follow the bouncing ball, right? <clears throat> you can read what it say. I've examined the center of this car to find perfect physical uh, and mental balance. See, this is where Arm and Hammer trying to find a perfect race. Um, usually strong eugenic love possibilities, well fitted to promote the happiness and future welfare of the race. <clears throat> Notice it ain't biracial people in the pit. This is in response to the Ben Ishmael native people that was already here. Right, the propaganda began with the, um, they wrote a book, Inventing America's Worst Family. Worse in quotation marks, because this was propaganda. Right, this is an old book from back in the day. Okay. A couple Masonic symbolism on there for those you know, into that type of, you know, the ladder, the, the cross body strap, the brim hat. Okay. It looked like he in some type of uniform, but now you got Ishmael, Israel, origins of the Ishmaelites and the Israelites. This is all L, right? This is all L. You know, Moorish. Right, Ishmael, Morish. Ish is a prefix or a suffix, but it has a definition. Right? Isis Ra El. Look at the 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 clothing. See how the boy got the little strap going across the chest. Right. And we right off the coast of Africa with it. We right off the coast. It's the origins of the Ishmaelites. So if you got the tribe of Ishmael, Ishmael in America, they coming from across the water off the coast of Africa. Let this map tell it. The hidden origin of the conflict of Israel and Palestine. Right? So the Ishmaelites, Ishmael is Palestine. Right? So Isaac. You see who they associate him with. So Palestine must be Ishma Ishmaelites. So this is why you see those riots happening. And you know, Kamala then took the side and but see don't get it twisted. Trump is an Ishmael Israel supporter too. Right now. I'm gonna show this. Look at the feathers and Native American dude hat. Right, and look at the feathers of the dude hat in the bottom left corner. See, he got the uh, leopard print secret society on. But if you look through all this, these are Dravidians, right? Melanated people with straight hair, right? But. Take a look at the, the feathers is what I'm trying to tell you. So if they wearing feathers in their cap in Africa, and y'all wearing feathers in y'all cap over here <clears throat> with the Native American, right? And see, this like the Boston Redskins, Dane Calloway kind of, 
you know, you get into that. But you got Africans and people in voodoo that wear feathers in the cap. Right? Now, how scientific accurate did it classify the human race into Negroid, Mongoloid, Caucasoid, Australialoid? Right? I mean, is this accurate? So my thing is, a lot of the Native Americans that's on reservations... They look mongoloid, right? No, the Spanish ain't up here. Latino ain't up here. Hispanic ain't up here. So what is the Hispanic? What is the Aztec? What is the Latin South American? Either they Caucasoid or mongoloid, right? Okay. <clears throat> now, look at this one. They slipped in the American, okay? They just slipped in the American now. The Australialoid and the Africoid, right? Mongoloid, Cogazoid. So they, 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 so that's why I say when you do this research, you can't get crossed up. You got to, you got to be able to identify the misdirection. Because y'all Native American brothers don't look like the American that these people try and say. Now, this is how you know it's a, Islamic Ben Ismail track because you got Muhammad, Texas, west of the Mississippi. Right? It's it's a town, it's places here called Muhammad. You notice they had the feds and the turban on. I mean they had the turban on and the Dravidian people. Ben Ismailites, they was wearing turbans. Right? Muhammad, Texas. Don't forget. Muhammad and Baphomet is the same word. Okay, now here goes some literature. Rather than Indianapolis, Indiana, Native American, Indian, Indianapolis, Indiana. That's why that, etymology-wise, that's why that's there. Okay. Received attention from eugenics. I told you this is where that unfolded. This is where Hitler and them got the master race and the Aryan race and the Lemurian race and the boop and the bop. They got all that shit from America, right? Fugitive nation, poor white Christian family, but actually a Muslim triracial set of indigenous peoples, European and enslaved Africans. Triracial set of indigenous peoples, European, now you know they saying they from Europe, they not American, European and enslaved Africans, triracial, right? The Ben Ismail trap, indigenous peoples, right? Islam and the rise and fall of the tribe of Ishmael. Y'all can pause and read every word, but <clears throat> You seen it was Muslim and Christian. <clears throat> I I have to do a, a, a deeper dive on this. Uh, I I I'll, I'll bring out a research on this Ben Ishmael trial. So you can get a real real clear understanding. <clears throat> um, but the fame would describe this tow headed or white blonde. Aside from a half-breed Native American mother, the Ishmaelites were explained to have a wandering blood causing them to be gypsy travelers. Larceny, murder, booping and bopping and banging. We know we got a lot of moors in jail. <clears throat> right? Y'all can pause and read this if you, you know. But see how the Ishmael, Ishmaelites is gypsies. Right, the Berbers look like gypsies, but they also are rage negative. Right, so it's it's this is this is one of the jack confusing topics that you got to do some research on to really un understand. This is how they pass the log sterilization. Right, who you can marry. This is this is this is where the racial shit came into play. They had a eugenic society in London. Y'all think they, they so progressive over there in London. Okay. <clears throat> Noble Kentucky African American Database. Okay. 
Ishmaelites of Kentucky. Now, African American Ishmaelites of Kentucky. And you see what they say? African, 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 African. American Ishmaelites of Kentucky. Bourbon County. Multiracial background of African, Native American, and poor whites. They poor, so the poor whites wasn't the slave owners. This is American history motherfuckers have no idea about. Sterilization laws passed. First Nation of Islam. The first nation of Islam, the Ben Ishmael tribe. Okay, Ben Ishmael, tribe of Ishmael. Fugitive of the Old Northwest. Right? Y'all can pause and read this. This is a more accurate depiction. The Melungeons, okay? Muslim Maroons escaped slave. The Melungeon descendants of Moorish con- convert to those brought a slave labor to Florida by Spain and abandoned there. The Delaware Moors, the Louisiana Turks, the Ben Ishmael tribe of Ohio all reveal Islamic connections. Y'all pause and read that. Dr. Eileen Bay. Uh, it says mixed mode and or the Aztecs. What so, is this? So so like I named named that slide the Mauritanian races. I don't want you to forget that. Ooh. These are the Mauritanian races beyond the Rio Grande. You feel me? These were the you know uh, Moors that that the, the Mauritanian race of peoples that could not be on this side of texas you feel me they were annexed and once again just like they always been what did they say they discovered these people you know what i mean they discovered the aztecs wow you feel me and they sure look like mauritanian people to me you feel me they, they look like moors to me <laughs> Right. Yeah. Uh, of course, of course, this is in a European uh, museum and stuff. But this is their first artifacts of the American Indian. We were all was written five thousand years ago. We're old Europeans. school. So you would, would be a Moor, which came from the Greeks Maur, and of course we adopted that name Moor. It was a descriptive adjective. It was not who we were. That's why it was always qualified with, say, Obayid more or the Chickasaw more. Okay? The, we were robbed of our definition of who we were, which is our nationality and our tribe. And we fell into the description of what we were from. In 1934, explore. The American or Indian race found only in America is a deep copper color, straight black hair, high cheekbones, eyes black and sunken large face. And she said, get down. And I was like, why? When the enormous monoliths were uncovered from Mexico, the sculptured images that were carved to form 24-ton heads from a single mass of basalt rock had been discovered. No one suspected this mysterious part of a civilization that only seemed to have vanished. At the cultural paradox of this civilization, La Venta, 18 miles from the Gulf of Mexico, four colossal heads were unearthed. The monoliths had been carbon dated. The results of the carbon-14 test of the stone heads found in Mexico caused a startling uproar amongst archaeological circles. Various additional testing was performed, however the earliest date that the carbon testing came up with regarding the stone images was the year 291 BC. As more diggings were performed in Middle America, larger heads were discovered. 24 tons was the average sum of the weight. The new discoveries were even more mysterious for the colossal heads continued to turn up even earlier dates. Four heads in all were excavated at the city of Leventa alone, with the largest head standing nine feet tall. Ancient Middle American civilizations, or Mesoamerica antiquity, is divided into three epochs, Archaic, before Christ, Classic, during the first thousand years AD, 
and post-classic from 1000 AD to Spanish conquest. The monolith of Leventa was dated and placed in the Archaic period which proved the existence of a civilization in Mesoamerica thousands of years before organized monotheistic religions. Perhaps more staggering than the result of the carbon dating of these stone figures is the apparent construction and proportions of the monoliths. According to archaeological circles, the statues were constructed from one massive chunk of basalt block mined from stone quarries 80 miles away and transported to the center of Leventa with a sum weight of 20 to 40 tons each. It seems these stones were rolled over vast tracts of land or transported down a river on wooden rafts, 